All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start by sitting cross-legged in Sukhasana position. <clears throat> create the lengthening of the spine so that you create space for the discs in between the vertebrae. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears. Lengthen the neck and tuck the chin in slightly. Closing your eyes, let's get grounded and centered. GCP. So grounding, clearing, and protecting. So first grounding, imagine roots and send them down deep to the core of the earth. Connecting with the earth, your sitting bones are sending roots deep into the earth. You're lengthening and ascending up towards the sky, creating space for your discs. And now clearing out any negativity, I want you to take deep breaths. Inhale for six, hold for three, exhale for six. 6363 six, breath, diaphragmatic. Inhale, inflating the belly out, expanding from the rib cage. Bring it all the way up to the collarbone, holding the top for three seconds. And then big exhale for a count of six. As you exhale, so we did the ground in GCP. Now we're going to clear out any discordant energy. So on the exhale, I want you to focus on what's developed. We're on hump day, it's Wednesday. What has developed the last few days? Perhaps physical tension, perhaps physical fatigue, mental fatigue, mental stress, emotional stress, emotional upheaval, whatever it is on the exhale, release. All right, so let's do a cycle of five at your own pace. You can keep the palms up or down. So what's the difference? Palms up is focusing on receiving the prana, the energy from the universe. If you're really fatigued, keep the palms down to focus on retaining your energy and grounding. If you feel really disjointed and uh, all over the place, perhaps work has got you crazy and you just can't focus, then palms down so that you ground, okay? All right, let's do five deep breaths. Inhale, six, hold for three, exhale, six. Five at your own pace, here we go. Great GCP, so now protection for the rest of this week. Envision now a big white circle surrounding you. And this is a circle of protection. And now see the white light as healing energy. Let it stream through the crown chakra to the third eye, to your throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra, and root chakra deep into the earth. And as that white light flows downward, you've got to visualize this. This is the protection part, GCP protection. Now watch that white light surround the earth and come back up into your aura and bathe in your aura in white light. That is GCP grounding, clearing, and protecting. 
So I just showed you a technique that yoga teachers do all the time before they start their class so that they're grounded and centered and divinely protected and divinely inspired so that they're able to download messages and be able to teach effectively. So I shared that with you because this is what I do all the time. So I want every average individual to practice GCP. It is very beneficial, especially when you have a stressful job, stressful home life, lots of children, all those things. All right, and now as always, we will begin our affirmations. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this affirmation three times, follow my lead. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, prayer position. And we're gonna say, I am grounded, I am balanced, I am strong. I am grounded, I am balanced, I am strong. Last one. I am grounded, I am balanced, I am strong. Pops overhead, three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. One deep breath. Stretch the arms out. Keep the back straight, fingertips touching the ground, chin to the chest. Good, raise the arms up, palms together. Exhale, chin to the chest. Three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to the chest. Two more, inhale, lift. Exhale, chin to the chest. One last time, deep breath. And chin to the chest. Rotate that left ear to the left shoulder. Draw the chin to the chest. Rotate the right ear to the right shoulder. Draw the chin to the chest. Bring the head up to neutral. Turn to your left, come to the center. Turn to your right, come to the center. Tilt your right ear to the right shoulder, right hand to the crown of the head. Slightly lift this left hand up, slide forward and slide back. Slide it forward and slide back. Good. Repeat, other side. Left hand to the crown of the head. Lift the hand up, slide forward. Slide back, two more. One more. Good. All right, return the head to neutral, the hands on the knees. Scoop out and round the back. Good, ready to cat cow. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Cat cow three more times. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Two more times. One more time. And big circles, big rotations. And opposite direction. And come back to the center. Open up those hips, stretching forward, four breaths. And roll it up, switch legs, stretch forward. And roll it up, raise the arms up, deep inhale. Exhale and stretch over to your left side. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale over to your right side. Keep going, three more, inhale, lift. Exhale, over. Inhale, lift. Exhale over to your right. Last one, deep breath. Exhale over to your left. Good, both arms up, deep breath. Exhale, twist and look over this left shoulder. Four breaths here.
Raise the arms up, inhale, lift. Exhale, twist, four breaths here. Good, let's flow. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist. Rotate your shoulders backwards. Three, two, one. Rotate your shoulders forwards. Three, two, one. And release the arms down. Shrug your shoulders up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Another breath exercise. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, elbows down. Five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Arms up. Interlace your fingers, palms facing the ceiling. Slide back and forth. Three, two, one. Good. Bring your palms down to the center. And now envision. So this is more visualization technique. Envision your lungs expanding by tensing your palms out, the fingertips touching. And then as the lungs recoil back to the original position, palms back together, briefly contract and palms push the palms into each other, contract the arms, and then let go. Okay? So we're going to practice this four times. So here we go. Inhale deeply. Hold three. Two, one, exhale deeply. Press briefly and relax. Good. All right, three more times. Same technique. Here we go. Inhale. Open and tense. Hold three, two, one. Exhale deeply. Now contract the arms. Press the palms into each other briefly and relax. Good. Two more times. Here we go. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Contract, press the palms. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Last one. Make it good. Inhale deeply. Expand. Hold three, two, one. Exhale deeply. Recoil the lungs. Contract the arms. Press the palms into each other. Three, two, one, and let go. Rotate the wrists. Good. Take your fingertips facing your body so you stretch the forearms. Take the tops of the hands on the mat. Good, and shake it out. Okie dokie, so one more breath exercise and then we're done, I promise. So this one is alternate nostril breathing. Make a fist with your left hand. Last two fingers out and thumb, just like this. See? Take your thumb to your left nostril. Inhale through the right for a count of six. Hold three, two, one. Last two fingers on the right nostril. Exhale through the left for six. Inhale through the left for six. Hold three, two, one. Thumb on the left nostril. Exhale through the right for six. All right, keep alternating. Four more times. Three more times. Two more times. One more time. And hold. Three, two, one, and let go. Beautiful. All right, eagle arms, bend the elbows 90 degrees. Left hand underneath the right, palms face each other. Inhale and exhale, draw the elbows to the chest, keep the back straight, chin to the chest. Rotate the left ear to the left shoulder. Chin to the chest, right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest, unravel the arms. Take the right hand underneath the left elbow, palms face each other, inhale and exhale. Chin to the chest, rotate the left ear to the left shoulder, chin to the chest, right ear to the right shoulder, chin to the chest. Good, bring the arms out, interlace the fingers, open the chest, and fold forward. Slowly come up. 
here. Straight out the legs, flex and point the toes. Rotate the ankles, rotate in the opposite direction. Good, all right, we are warmed up. Let's move into cat cow. So to protect your knees, place the bolster transverse. Come onto the knees on the bolster. Have your hands out in front, keep your hips and knees aligned. So your knees and feet should be hip distance apart. And then arch the back, belly down, open the chest, lift the head up, deep inhale. Exhale, scoop hollow and round the back. Good. Four more. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Two more. One more. And hip rotations. Big circle. In opposite direction. Puppy dog pose. So take the arms all the way out. Armpits come down. We're going to stay up. Chin to the back. Chest, if it reaches, great. If not, that's okay. Good. All right. Take the bolster to the side. Come down into Sphinx pose. So elbows bent, 90 degrees. Press your toenails into the ground. Open the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Draw the chin to the chest. Bring the head up. Turn to your left. Come to the center. Turn to your right. Come to the center. Beautiful. Take the hands and align them with your shoulders. Hug the elbows, forehead to the ground. You know what I'm going to do. We're going to do downward dog. So curl your toes under and push. Use your abs and your arms to come into your first dog, your downward dog. Bicep of the feet. Good. Center the left foot. Raise the right leg up. Good. Bring it lower between the hands. Take two deep breaths here. One more breath. Good. Place your bolster to the inside of the right foot. Center it and place your left hand on the bolster. Take your right hand to the right hip. Notice my hips are square. From the navel, belly button. Up, so torso, chest turns to the right, palm up, facing outwards with your right hand. Right hand, one long line with the left. If you're unsure, take your right hand to the left hand and come straight up, and boom, you've got a nice, beautiful alignment here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Bring the right hand down, take the bolster to the side. And come back to downward dog, bicep with the feet again. And guess what? We're going to do the other side. Center the right foot, left leg comes up, bring it forward between the hands, lunge. Good. Take a couple of deep breaths here, three or four. Good. Place this bolster to the inside of the left foot, center it. Take your right hand on the bolster, center it with your left leg. One long line. You should not see my right hand, right? If it's in front, that's no good. If it's back, that's no good because we're straining our back. So this doesn't put any strain on the back as long as you're aligned with your leg. Your left hand goes to the left hip, twist over to your left from the navel up. So my hips are still square. Now, again, Line up that left hand, bring it straight up, palm facing outwards. Three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. One more breath. And release. Good. Take the bolster to the side. Now, bend the right knee and the ball of the right foot. Let it propulse you forward to a forward bend. Spread the feet hip distance apart, hands to the elbows. And sway the hips left to right. 
Pat, let me go this way forward so you can see how I'm swinging my hips left to right. Beautiful. Now let go. Just relax. Let me grab me through the work, distracting the discs between the vertebrae. Move your head up and down. And say no. Move your head left to right. Let go. Let go of the arms. And now bend the knees and slowly work your way up. One vertebra at a time. Beautiful. Roll the shoulders back, down, and away from the ears. Pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine. Good. Okay. So into Dasana, take three deep breaths here. Raise the arms up, deep breath. Exhale, breath position. Arms overhead, open the chest, then swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up, look up, hands on the shins, open the chest, back is flat. Exhale, fold forward. Airplane the arms out, lean with the chest, palms overhead, and move over to that left side. Your left hand is reaching towards the left leg, your right hand is overhead. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale over to the opposite side. Your right hand is reaching towards that right leg. Good. Inhale. Palms together. Exhale. Prep position and chair. And hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Notice my knees are over the ankles. No knocking, no out. So just over the ankles. Push into the ground and back to Tadasana Mountain Pose. Beautiful. Three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. One deep breath. Raise the arms up. Exhale, breath position. Arms up over the head, open the chest, swan back down. Inhale, halfway up, hands on the shins. Look up. Exhale, fold forward. Airplane, the arms out, lean with the chest. All right, now we're going to take this left hand all the way over to that right side. Deep side stretch here. And palms together, overhead. Opposite side, deep side stretch to the right side. Your right hand reaching towards that left side. Your left hand overhead, okay, towards that right side. Good, inhale, palms together. Exhale, prayer and chair. This time, take your right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Here we go. Twist, chair with a twist, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Back to the center, push into the ground. Tadasana. Three deep breaths. Two deep breaths. One deep breath. All right, last and final round. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, prep position. Arms open, head open, and swan dive down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Airplane the arms out. Lead with the chest. You know the routine. This time, though, we're going to take this left hand to the right wrist, pull up towards the ceiling, and over. So this is a half moon, really deep stretch here. Good. And opposite side, right hand to the left wrist. Lengthen and stretch to the side, over to that right side. Your left hand is really stretching, and with your right hand, you're pulling. Pull. Good. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, prayer and chair. This time, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Here we go. Twist and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn the head and the body. Push into the ground and back to Tadasana. Good. All right, we're going to come to the front of the mat. Right, now here's where we really want to focus on your posture. So posture check. Create that triangle, index finger and thumb, right? Inverted triangle, base of the triangle cuts across the hips and the index finger touches your pelvic bones. Pull that in and up. So in and up. That immediately creates that 
creates less of a lumbar curve and take that tailbone down. You're able to smile, shoulders down and away from the ears. Leg, neck, tuck the chin in slightly. And we are ready to roll. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, open the chest, swan back down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, send the right leg back, lunge. Good. When you are ready, come up to a crescent pose. Four. Three breaths. Two breaths. One breath. Foot pivot. Follow the foot, turn the foot out to about two o'clock, bring that heel down and open your arms into a warrior. One. Now take your hands, interlace them, and let's do humble warrior. Take the shoulders to the inside of that left knee, arms overhead. Humble warrior. Let let go of the arms, and now swing the arms into a transverse, straight, long line, transverse. Warrior two, turn your hips to the right. Warrior two here, shoulders down. Turn your head facing that left foot here. Bring that knee towards the pinky toe and open the ankle. Three breaths here. Take that right hand to the right thigh. Left hand over the head towards the back wall. This is called reverse warrior. Three breaths here. And bicep the hips down, bring it to that lunge. And take that left foot back, downward dog. Two deep breaths. One deep breath, come into plank. And drop your knees. Drop your chin and chest, hips stay up. Exhale, hips come down, forehead to the ground. We're going to do low cobra. Hug the rib cage, slightly come up. Lengthen the spine. Press the palms into the floor. Chest this arch, no, no, no arch your back. Lengthen the spine. Use those back muscles and come down. Curl the toes under. Push your way back into downward dog. Two deep breaths here. One deep breath. Center the left foot, raise the right leg up, bring it forward between the hands. Good, and here we go. Rise up to your crescent pose, interlace your fingers, except the index finger and thumb. Now, modification, if this is too much, drop the knee down. It's perfectly fine. All right, two more breaths here. One more breath. Pivot the left foot. So you put that left foot to about 10 o'clock. Hips are square, warrior one. Three more breaths here. Two more breaths. One more breath. But turn over. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I never forget. But this afternoon, we're going to do Humble Warrior, remember? So before we go to Warrior Two, Humble Warrior, so take those hands, interlace them, open the chest, and now bring the shoulders to the inside of that right knee, Humble Warrior, arms on the head. Put the chest on shoulders. Beautiful, let go, and now bicycle the hands into your warrior two. There you go. Hips are open, facing the left side. Arms are out, long, horizontal, transverse. Turn your head, right middle finger, raise your knee, over the ankle and towards the pinky toe. Three breaths here. What's next? Reverse warrior, take your left hand, down the leg, right hand, over the head, reverse warrior. Three breaths here. Good, bicycle the hands down, and come into a lunge, and now allow the back foot fall and the knee to propulsion forward, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up, exhale, forward. And play the arms out, lean with the chest, open the chest, exhale, prep position. Good, that was round one. Shake it all off. 
And let me get a towel. I am sweating. So we're going to do round two now. We're going to send the left foot back. And I think what I want to do is crescent with a twist. Move right into warrior two and do triangle and reverse triangle. All right, you ready? So we're gonna come to the front of the mat and this time we're gonna send the left foot back. Here we go. Three deep breaths here. Focus on what you're going to do. Begin. Inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, prone position. Arms overhead, open the chest, swan back down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Now we're going to send the left leg back. Left leg back, lunge. Good. Rise up into crescent pose. This time, prayer position at the heart center. Coming in for a twist. Take your left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Here we go. Twist. Now, this is too much, drop the back knee down. That's your option, there's modifications to be done. Don't need to do the full expression of this pose. One more breath. Good, now we're gonna pivot all the way to the left. Boom, bend that right knee. Okay, warrior two. Transition here for three breaths only. Get your right middle finger. Straighten out the knee, reach forward, and find your triangle. Slide down. Put three breaths here. Good. Left hand down. Squaring the hips. And grab your bolster. Place it to the inside of that right foot. Take your left hand on the bolster. Hips are square. Right hand on the right hip. Twist to the right. And raise that right hand up, one long line, all facing outwards. Beautiful. All right, place the bolts to the side. Come down into a lunge, right foot back, down the go. Good. Inhale into plank. Drop your knees, chest and chin to the ground. Hips stay up, hips now come down, forehead to the ground. All right, we did low cobra, so now we do high cobra. High cobra involves lifting the chest all the way up and even the navel so that you're, there is definitely an arch in the back, but you're pushing the palms into the floor. Not this, so shoulders down and hugging the elbows so you're really, engaged, really engaging the lumbar muscles. One more breath here. Exhale, slowly come down, curl the toes under. And we're going to use our triceps, hugging the ribcage, uh, the elbows to the ribcage. Push, no arch back. Push into that downward dog. Three breaths here. All right, guess what? Center the right foot, left leg comes up. Left foot forward between the hands. Come into the lunge. Come into crescent pose. Nice high lunge here. Palms together for position and twist. Here we go. Right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Twist. Again, if it's too much, drop that right knee down. It's perfectly fine. That's your modification. Two more breaths here. One more breath. Good, all right, remember what we did. I gotta pivot all the way to the right, keeping the hands in prayer position, drop the right heel, boom. Pivot all the way to the right and spread the arms out, warrior two. Three deep breaths here. Straighten out the knee, reach forward as far as you can, and take your left hand either to the shin, ankle, or foot. And one long line. I want you to take this right hand to the left hand. One straight long line, palm facing outwards. Shoulders away from the ears. Trikonasana, triangle. Three breaths here. Good. 
Bring the right hand out, square the hips. Grab that bolster again, place it to the inside of the left foot. Your right foot is turned into a block, your heel is down. Right hand onto the bolster, left hand onto the left hip. Keep the hips square. Just the torso, upper body from the navel up, chest. Turn to the left, left hand all the way up. So how do I know it's completely aligned? Take your left hand to the right hand, slide it straight up, all facing outwards. Three breaths. And left hand down, lunge. Good, all right. Allow the ball of the right foot and that right knee to propulse you forward to a forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Hands out, transverse arms. Lead with the chest back, it's flat. Inhale, arch slightly, open the chest. Exhale, prayer position. Beautiful, all right, only one more round and we'll be all done. And we'll get down onto the mat and do our nice, relaxing, seated poses and guided meditation. But first, wait, there's four. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing next? I want to do tree pose. And from tree, I think I'm going to move from tree right into a warrior one, warrior two. But from warrior two, we're going to do a side punch. That's my goal. All right. So last sun salutation, which also includes all these standing poses. Okay, feet apart, hip distance, tailbone under, navel to the spine, draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, lean over to the left. Your right foot could go, could go either to the lower leg, or if you want, take it above the knee to the inner left thigh. Palms together, you can stay here. You can keep the arms out, transverse the balance, or bring them up. 10 seconds. Okay, send the right foot straight back to about two o'clock for warrior one. Keep the hips square. Now just immediately transition to warrior two. Good, here we go. Side lunge. So I want you first to do a reverse warrior, but binds this time. Take the right hand behind the back. Okay, you can place your palm this way or down towards the hip, and left hand towards the back wall. Three breaths here. Good, now take your left elbow to the left thigh above the left knee, right hand over the head. Now, three breaths here before we move into the side lunge. Good, all right, now place this left hand all the way down to the mat. If this is uncomfortable, again, use your bolster and place your hand on the bolster. Deep side lunge here, right hand over Head, three breaths. Good. All right. Pivot to the hips. Back to a regular lunge. Place the bolster to the side. And guess what? You know the routine. Left foot back, downward dog. Three breaths here. All right, finish strong. Guess what we're doing? Chaturanga Dandasana. So come into plank pose. Use your arms, don't drop the knees. Hover, 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 slowly come down. Inhale, upward facing dog. So only the tops of the feet are on the floor and the palms. Don't arch your back. Don't bring the hips down like this. Keep them up. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Curl the toes under, downward dog. Three deep breaths here. Center the left foot. Raise the right leg up. Bring the right foot forward. Lunge. 
pivot the heel down and rise up to warrior one on this side. Transition right into warrior two. Arms are out transverse. Here we go, binding. Take the left hand behind the back. Right hand over the head towards the back wall. Reverse warrior with a bind. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Now you take the right elbow to the right thigh above the knee. Left hand over the head. So you have one long line between the left hand and the left foot. Straight up. Three breaths here. Shoulders away from the ears. Good. All right. Now slowly take that right hand down to the floor. For me, it's uncomfortable. I have hip replacements both sides. So I use the bolster. Take it to the inside of the right foot. Take the right hand in front or on the inside of that right foot. Left hand over the head. Deep side lunge here. Three breaths. Good, release. Place the bolster to the side. Dip it. And now allow the ball of the left foot and the left knee to propulse you forward. Good. Inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. Airplane the arms out, knee to the chest, open the chest. Exhale, grab position. And don't forget, we started with tree pose. So now we do the other side. So lean over to the right foot. We're going to end with tree. We started with tree, we end with tree. Take the left foot side of the lower leg or above the knee to that inner right thigh, just like we did on the other side. 10 seconds here. Palms together, elbows out, or open the arms out. Let it go. Now, if you have a big bolster braid, if you don't, use a small bolster or pillow. So we're going to do the Hindi squat. I like the bolster that's big because then I can literally sit on it. So spread the legs wide. And prayer position. Come down. And if you have this big bolster, you can actually sit down on it so it's less effort. If you don't have the big bolster and the small bolster, then you're going to have to use your strength and your thighs to keep yourself balanced. Okay, so I'm sitting on this. Elbows are on the inside of both thighs, and I open the knees out. So I'm getting the adductor muscle stretched. Back is nice and straight. Now, if you can't do this and you're super tight, just place your hands on the ankles and keep the back straight. That's what I want. I don't want you like this, no hunch back. That's not good for your back. Okay, so back straight, open the hips out, or use your elbows to open them out. Okay, here we go, five breaths here. All right, bring your legs together, shake it out. All right, whether you have the small bolster or the big one, we're gonna take the bolster longitudinally just like this and come into a wide angle frog here. So bring the pelvis to the edge of it and your head hanging. So you come into this nice frog with the head rest and your back is getting a nice rest. Five breaths here. Bolster transverse, and we're going to come in front of it 
And I want you to place your upper back and chest on top of your bolster. And here's the key element. If you have a block, place the block vertical by your occipital region of the head. That's the back of the head above the neck, like so. So your neck is supported. Come into a butterfly. And how amazing is this? You're getting your chest open, your hip open, and your neck stretched. All right, take your time here. I would say, hold a good five breaths. Close your eyes. Position, bend the knees, lift the hips up, scoop the shoulders closer to each other. You can take the hands to um, the heels or palms down. Best option to support the back, take the hands to the lower back. Good. Four breaths here, deep breaths. slowly come down one vertebra at a time. All right, grab the uh, hands or palms to the soles of the feet. Open the knees out and rock back and forth left to right. Massage that spine. Good. Hands behind the knees, rock and roll. Three times. Good. And and find your bolster. Lift the pelvis up, take the bolster underneath your tailbone, legs and arms up. About a minute or two here. So as you're doing this pose, you can wiggle the fingers and toes or stay static and just allow the blood flow to reverse. If you want to turn it into a stretching exercise, go ahead and open out the legs, feeling the inner thigh muscle stretching. Whatever floats your boat, it's your practice. Done. So all you're going to 
head to this place, the bolster behind the knees. Get settled, stretch the arms and the legs out. Close your eyes. Perhaps an eye pillow with some lavender if you have that. If not, that's okay. Then close your eyes and really get settled into the mat. Let the body relax into the mat. As I move you into a guided meditation, yoga nidra portion of our practice. and chest and hold and now open the mouth big side let it go now take the deepest breath belly chest rib cage collarbone hold open the mouth big side let it go Now bring the awareness to your hands. Lift the hands up, squeeze, make a tight fist. Inhale, stretch the fingers out. Exhale, release and let go. Come to your shoulders and lift the shoulders up towards the ears. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release and let go. Come to the facial muscles, squeeze and squint the face tight. Stretch the face, open the mouth, stick out the tongue, release and let go. Let go of the lower jaw from the upper jaw. Relax the lips, the cheeks, the nose. Relax the eyes, the forehead and the scalp. And scan the body from head to toe for any remaining pockets of tension. Breathing into that joint space or muscle. On that exhale, letting go of the tension. Breathing in relaxation and exhaling out tension. Breathing in positive energy and exhaling out negativity. 
mental chatter might pop up and it's quite normal. See it for what it is and then let it go. Clear it out until all that is left is your peaceful side, your true side, your soul. There are many aspects of you, so let's peel away the layers that create the tension. Let go of the body and its physical tension. Let go of the breath and any of its emotions. Let go of the mind and all of its attachments. And what unfolds is your soul the divine spark within us all. See it as your true self. Since you are not your physical body, you are not your breath, and you are certainly not your thoughts. Your thoughts just float away one by one. Your soul is eternal, so let's heal that soul. Take your soul on a journey to rebalance, restore, rejuvenate. See yourself in a forest with a waterfall. You are in this forest surrounded by trees and you are by the waterfall flowing into a beautiful pond. This is your sacred space. It is early morning and the mist is still in the air. You hear birds and you see fish swimming. Go ahead and lay down on the ground adjacent to this pond, hearing the water flowing, feeling the energy surrounding you, all nature, all beings, and Mother Earth. Connect with the earth and sky. And notice the blue sky and the morning sun. So beautiful. Joyful energy, optimism is all you see when you see the sun. Shining brightly, you begin to resonate with the warmth of the sun. And as you lay there, the cool breeze washes over the body and you breathe the fresh, crisp forest air. Simultaneously, you become aware more and more of the energy of the sun upon your skin, to the feet and ankles, lower legs, knees and thighs, hips and sacrum, abdomen and up the spine, sacrum, lower back, abdomen, upper, abdomen, upper back, chest, rib cage, all acquiescing to the heat of the sun. Your heart and lungs relax and you embrace the sun's rays across the shoulders and arms forearms, wrists, palms, and fingertips. You feel that warmth across the neck muscles and face, and finally the scalp. As the heat is released from all parts of your body, you are left at peace. The body is relaxed, the breath is calm, the mind is clear, your soul uplifted. Stay in your sacred space. Enjoy the peace and serenity.
you are ready, come back. Come back from that deep journey. Back into the body, wiggle the fingers and the toes. Stretch the legs, the arms. Yawn if you need to. And go ahead and turn over to the right or to the left side. As I pull an oracle card by Kyle Gray, looks like this one's sticking out. Uh, it's called the Angel Guide Oracle Guidebook. And there it is. Let's see. The message is raise your vibration. And it is a man with beautiful uh, divine light and his hands are reaching for that divine light. So raising your vibration. So let's take a look and see the deeper meaning. It's time to move up a level. It's time to fly high. You may have experienced some setbacks or felt low recently, but that is behind you now. And you have the opportunity to light up like you've never lit before. Everything in the entire universe is comprised of energy. And that energy vibrates, drawing toward its similar energy. So raising your vibration means aligning yourself with situations, people, places, and choices that you know will lift you up. Discard the ones that bring you down. Support you and those that will help you grow. When this card appears, you have overcome the darkness and are moving into a time of opportunity. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, you can be reborn. Know that the angels are acknowledging your commitment to growth you are filled with inspiration now and attracting only the good. Well, I could say that definitely resonates with me because it is how I feel right now. Lots of good things coming my way. All right, so we're gonna end with one minute of meditation and you can reflect on this card reading, raise your vibration, or use a mantra or an affirmation or even a prayer of your own belief system. If all of that sounds complicated, then just simply count the breaths for a minute. Our monkey mind is all over the place. You can be in meditation and all of a sudden you are thinking about your laundry. That's quite normal, frankly. So don't beat yourself up over it. Realign, refocus, come back to the task of meditation, okay? All right, here we go. At the sound of the crystal bowl, we will do one minute of meditation. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Bang it too hard. Take a deep breath, raise the arms overhead, and exhale, prayer position. Thank yourself for coming to the mat today, connecting your body, your mind, your soul. Remember, each day is a gift and never promise. So use your day wisely. Find your opportunities. Use your talents. Find your purpose and shed light to the world. Spread your talents. And most of all, do remember that your health is your greatest wealth. So practice yoga, Pilates, ballet bar, belly dance, bicycle, walk, whatever floats your boat. Practice every day, be fit, be fierce. All right. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. All right, so let me turn off Zoom. I'll see you guys next time.